Hi, welcome to Flight Report. I am Julian Mello, and in this episode, I present to you the unboxing and first impressions of Durafly's new airplane, the Curtis P-40 Warhawk. So here is the box. As you can see, it's a pretty big box. I ordered it, uh, when was that? On August 26th, a Wednesday. I paid for the cheapest shipping, which was UPS ground, which was like 12 bucks. And it arrived today, Monday, August 31st. So um, their shipping was pretty good. I ordered from the Cal from the Oregon warehouse and I live in California. So here goes the actual unboxing. The Curtis P40N, the Warhawk. All right, let's see what's inside. All right, the first thing you see is uh, are the decals. It comes with five different schemes, the American scheme, the British scheme, uh, the scheme from Australia, Italy, I believe, and another, I can't remember. Here's the uh, color manual. All right, so let's take a look at what is inside the box. All right, one of the first things that I notice is that Stuart was not kidding when he said that this is a new type of paint or foam, I believe, um, and it does not look like regular foam. The way it's painted, I don't know if you can see the detail there. Let's move the light source a little. It does not have like the typical big bubbles that regular foam has or the, the pa regular paint job, which is really nice. Uh, really nicely painted, really real good job on that so far. So uh, yeah, this is the little uh, bomb drop mechanism right there. It's a little servo with the magnet, I believe. Right here you can see the, the little bomb. The little magnet right there just sort of attaches there. And I believe the servo just rotates and the magnet kind of disengages from the position and drops the little Bomb. They also mentioned that it was weighted. It seems to have like a little bit of lead or some sort of uh, some sort of metal here to uh, you know make have it drop like that. And uh, let's take a look at the fuselage. Here's the fuselage. Again, the paint job is really nice. It does not look like foam. The detail, the detailing is amazing on this. It has a Durfi uh, branded motor up front. I did get. Um, 4S batteries, 2200 compact zippies for this plane, as well as a FreeSky X, X8R receiver with telemetry. I'm going to have uh, voltage and amperage. Really nice, really nice finish. This foam is seems like a little denser and like a thicker paint job so far. It looks amazing. I'm not going to bore you with uh, <clears throat> the step-by-step -step assembly of this plane. Um, it took about an hour. The instructions are really clear. All the all the bags are labeled correctly with uh, descriptions of the where the screws go. You just follow the instructions, put it together. There really isn't anything to it. Uh, just follow the instructions. It did come with some extra servos. It did say that some of the flap servos were failing, so they included some additional ones. I've uh, finished assembling it. It's super easy to follow the instructions. Um, full color manual. Uh, the English is written, is, you know, it's good English. Um, no grammar mistakes, really clear. Um, I really can't fault this model, except maybe the horns might be the cheap kind, but I mean, they will do. They're not my, my favorite. I usually go for the metal stuff. But other than that, the fit and finish is perfect. As you can see, I've got, uh, I got all the surfaces working, I got the flaps. Um, and don't worry right now, I've got um, the throttle is not on. Now it's on. So uh, there you have it. I'm going to disconnect the battery because this battery is running really low. It's getting kind of hot. So I'm going to disconnect it. But other than that, I've, I've installed a, um, the FreeSky. I got a, a battery checker, uh, a cell checker, and I've got an amp uh, sensor uh, that talks to my Tyrannus and tells me um, 
what the levels of the cells are, as, as well as how many amps have been consumed. I am using the recommended 4 cell uh, 2200 Zippy Compact 35C battery, which should give this plane plenty of pep. Um, as you can see, it went together really well. I really like the paint. The only, the last thing that is pending is uh, picking out one of the decal schemes. Probably gonna go with the American because, uh, in my opinion, it's the coolest with the skull. The other ones are kind of a uh, plain, like the Russian. So I'm gonna go with that. So uh, thank you for watching, and please don't forget to subscribe if you like this video. Thumbs up. Let me know what you think in the comments. Bye.